Hello, everybody. Once again, this is Terrence Warren, Cisco Tutor Guy, CCMP. And we're moving right along in my CCMP uh, routing labs or CCMP uh, routing and switching labs. And now we're at lab seven for ticket seven of the CCMP T shoot exam. So, in this lab, <coughs> We're going to get right into it in this lab. Once again, the uh, client one is unable to reach the external web server 209.65.200.241. And as I said before, most of the tickets will start out that way. The issue is that none of them can reach the web server, but um, the issues preventing them from re reaching the web server are all different. So, using the pain plan, we're going to start from client one and try and ping. Uh, we're going to ping router one and router two, and just uh, go from there. Now, usually, if you can ping out router one and router two, then most of the time our issue will be. So, what I typically do is I ping R1, R2. If those go through. Then I go straight to R1 and start looking, you know, because if I can ping R1 and R2 and I can ping the gateway, then I want to see what's in R1 that's preventing it from going all the way to the web server. So let's get started from there. And dot one dot one dot one. That's the IP address for R1. Pretty slow. Looks like it might even time out. Okay, so we're not getting to R1. Okay, we have 100% loss. Let's try R2. Thing 10.1.1.2. Alright, so it looks like we're not getting the R2 either. So that means we're not getting out past our gateway. Our gateway is in is, is uh, ASW1. So we're going to go, let me try and ping the gateway. And uh, one, and uh, 2.1.1. Okay, and we're not getting there either. But just as I anticipated, we're going to go to the switches. Here we have a oh, ASW1 and ASW2. I'm going to start here because the last ticket was DSW1, so I'm not expecting any more tickets on DSW1. We go to ASW1. I get into the command line. Do a show run. And see why we're not getting past. Hmm. I'm looking at the MAC addresses for. Uh, fast Ethernet ports one and two. So while I'm looking at the MAC addresses for one and two, I'm, I'm noticing that there's switch port port security uh, on both of those interfaces. So I'm thinking. That could be the reason why we're not able to get past the gateway is because the interfaces that client one and client two are connected to are blocked due to port security. So let's try this. Um, 
I'm looking in here and we see that there's support security for one and two. And it just so happens that we are connected to one and two. So let's try this. How about we remove port security? Go back up to where we saw the MAC addresses right here. Now on the exam, I think I remember seeing that both MAC addresses were the same and that was the dead giveaway because you can't have the same MAC addresses on the same network and it worked. So that was the giveaway. On the packet tracer version, it looks like they didn't make that same mistake. So let me go here. Thank you, config mode. All right, so interface FA zero slash one. No, we need a range command to do both of those. Interface range FA zero slash one two two. Uh, no switch port port security. No, that's not right. That's better. No switch port port security. Let's see what else goes in there. All right. I think that should be enough. Yeah. And now we're going to shut the port. You give it a minute. And then we're going to no shut. Let it come back up. See what it looks like now. So, which port port security is gone? We still have switch port port security for the MAC address, which is just assigned a MAC address. But let's try our ping now. We're going to stay right here, and I'm going to go back over to client one and see if we can get R1 and R2 now. First, let's see if we can get to the gateway, and we can. We are getting to hit the gateway. I'm going to hit R1. Yeah, it's moving kind of slow. Still not. Oh, here we go. That's R1, and that's R2. So we're hitting R1, R2, and the gateway now. So we should be able to ping the web server. Ping. 209.65.200.241 and we are in the web server now. So that looked like the resolution for lab 7 or ticket 7. Let's confirm our answers. Answer the uh, the problem device was ASW1. The faulty technology was it was switch port port security. All right. And the corrective action was to remove the switch port port security statement. And shut and no shut the, the interface to bring it back up. So that concludes the resolution for lab seven or ticket seven of the T shoot CCMP exam. Um, um, thank you for watching. This has been Terrence Horn, Cisco Tutor Guy, and continue to follow through on my CCMP uh, 
uh, T-Shoot Labs, C CCNP Routing and Switching Labs. Thank you for watching.